Hey guys, welcome back to Millennial Kitchen. I'm the millennial that is single-handedly ruining the economy, Miss Linda. Pride Month has started. It is a month to celebrate the LGBT plus community, the historical people in that community, and the lives of the people who are living today. So, even though we can't go to parades, we can't go to uh, celebration parties, I'm gonna show you a fun meal to celebrate Pride. Today, we are making rainbow spaghetti and our own homemade tomato sauce. So let's get into it. So to make rainbow spaghetti, you are obviously going to need some noodles. You are going to need some plastic baggies, one for each color in the rainbow, and you are going to need some food dye. And for the tomato sauce, I'm going to use three different kinds of tomatoes. We have the regular tomatoes that you can get on the vine, and that you can get at your local grocery store or at your local farmer's market. And then we have Roma tomatoes, which are pretty good for sauces and salsa and things like that. And then I'm also going to use some grape tomatoes, uh, just because I think that they are going to add a little bit of sweetness to the sauce. And you are also going to need an onion, and you are also going to need some garlic. I chopped it up, and it's in a pan where it is going to warm up at a low heat. I have quartered the um, tomato on the vine and the Roma tomato, and I have um, cut the grape tomatoes in half. And now I am going to add these to the tomatoes that I already have in my blender. All this time, while we were slicing tomatoes, while we were blending everything, cooking the garlic, you should have had your noodles boiling. On the garlic a notch and right now we are going to wait for it to turn this kind of gold yellow color and then we'll add sauce a few minutes later I added the tomato sauce that we made in the blender and I added a little bit of salt now I'm gonna add some of the onion we're adding salt every time we add a new ingredient, so you can add more to this. You can add mushrooms or peppers, but every time you add a new ingredient to your tomato sauce, you need to add a little bit of extra salt. I am also going to add some crushed red pepper, just a little bit, not a lot and some basil leaves. Once you've added everything you wanted to add to your tomato sauce, go ahead and kick the heat up to a medium high heat and you are going to want to let this just kind of simmer and come to a slight boil. So now comes the really fun and messy part. We are going to put our food dye in the little baggies that we have. We have one baggie for each color of the rainbow. You'll notice that orange is missing. I could not find any orange food dye, so we are going to have to make do by mixing a little bit of red with a little bit of yellow and hoping that it turns out okay. So I took about 20 to 25 drops and you're just gonna put your noodles in there and swish them around. If you'll notice, my baggie is leaking. You're just gonna try and not get red dye all over my apartment floor. If 
fun fact, I made a lot of spaghetti. And now, all you have to do is add the tomato sauce. All right, guys, this has been Millennial Kitchen. We have made rainbow spaghetti. Just remember, libraries are for everyone. And we'll see you next Friday.